Hello guys, welcome back to Warno. Today I've got a 1v1. Um, this is actually part of a tournament game. Uh, I'll get it playing in the background. It's on slow speed. Uh, so this is part of the SEO League tournament. Um, 1v1 uh, Swiss style. In the first round I'm up against uh, Ski, as you can see on the right. I'm playing the 5th Panzer Division. Ski is playing the 2nd Panzer Grenadier Division. Um, I'm over on this right hand side, and we're going to be doing this from my perspective. Um, so we'll just shift on over. I'll be going over kind of like my thought processes and what I was thinking going into the game um, and my tactics throughout. Uh, we did play two matches on a two ways switch sides, um, and I'll go over the second game as well. Um, right off the bat, I'm going to have a look at my pauses here. Jaeger Akvold to open, three on that side, three on this side as well. Um, looking at this side, I really want to use these two here to secure the town because uh, I know Ski's probably going to be pushing in to this location here and I, I want to deny that. I want to put up a really aggressive front and stop him getting a, uh, a foothold here. Uh, so that's what those two are doing. I've got this Jaeger who's going to be pushing to this area here which is also going to be trying to attack the, um, the uh, route into centre. Backing those guys up. I've got a bunch of pioneers with the Fox Milan. Um, Fox Milan's give me a bit more uh, hit and power against any tanks, and then a little bit of supply as well um, to support the pioneers as they fight in the town. Behind those, we've got two M48s again, just providing some support. They're going to be pushing to these trees here. They can fire into the town if they need to, or stop any pushes down these roads. Switching over to this left-hand side, uh, I've got two Jaeger. Again, pushing for the town here, trying to get a foothold there. These Jaeger are going to be pushing down this road here. And just going to give me line of sight down here and secure this, this pathway to stop any pushes around the centre from that flank. Backing those up, I've got more Pioneers. Uh, so I've got two with the Flamethrowers and then Sisharungs as well. All of these guys are just for this town fight because I know it's going to be a bit of a meat grinder in there. And Supply backing those up. Got a Jeppard. Going to this central location here, so it can cover this bit and this bit as well. And then two Panzer Grenadier fire teams in the Marder 1A3 Milans, and that's going to be pushing to the centre around there. So we'll speed up to one speed. I do see helicopters going over here, um, so I suspect he's going for a push to Charlie. Over on this right hand side, you do see I get my Jaeger Akbol into this forward town, and I do encounter some FS Jaeger there and a few looks. A1s. These Jaeger Akbal pushing forwards, I didn't unload them in time so they got taken out. On this left side, my Jaeger Akbal are encountering more FS Jaeger and fighting them. Um, but they've managed to get a hold in there, there's not too much opposing them at the moment. So all these pioneers are going to get in there okay. This Milan 2 is not going to be able to target them or not do, yeah, get lost on the side. Yeah, so all these guys are going to get in, that's going to secure my foothold there. Back over to this right side, I do see a lot of these pioneers here. Uh, some of the Fuchs Milan are managing fire from the town on these looks. Take one out. These M48s will take out the other. So that's good for me. On it, landed. I did bring in an MW1. I had that uh, at the start, prepped and ready because I knew there was going to be big clumps of infantry, uh, either for this fight or for this one over here. So I have repelled Ski on this side. He's got a few troops here, but it's going to be next to impossible to push in. I've got three squads of pioneers. Jaeger Akbal still here. A bunch of books Milan to support. And su supply back here as well if needed. So I've secured that, which is what I wanted to do. So that's gone really well for me. I've got a nice strong foothold here. Units pushing forwards. I'm only going to push to about here. I don't want to keep pushing all the way through the town. It's pretty easy to hold at this point. Now I've got Fuxman pushing over to this side to stop any tanks or anything going down this road here. In the center, I do start to engage some Fuxman here. One of my martyrs does get taken out by them, unfortunately. Um, as my Panzer Grenadier team starts to push across into the woods, uh, get into a bit of a better position with some cover. Take out one Fuxman. Back here. Uh, I did manage to shoot down a heli, um, kill that, but not before I lost some units. Um, 
I may have even lost a um a command unit back here. I was worried about all the stuff here, so I did have the Gethard and the Scout. Ellie, I bring you in some Cicerungs just to secure Charlie. It's a bit of a faff, but um, did get it in the end, and they'll they'll push on down later. Panzergren's in the middle, getting wiped out by these FS Jäger. So the the center, I don't really have any control here. Um, and I am a bit worried about that. I'm also worried about these leopards pushing down this right hand side. I've got this uh, Alpha Jet, which has got rockets on it, I'm trying to target them. Ski gets them into the woods, so I lose uh, I lose uh, targeting on it and have to pull around. Um, but as you can see, this road's open, this road's open, the center's open. I've got strong control on the two zones to the side, but in the center, it's really not looking good for me. So on this right hand side, I'm still holding well. These pioneers aren't going to be able to get in. They can't do anything against these books on land. FS Jaegers are too far back to affect it. I do let this pioneer take a ton of shots from that flamethrower, unfortunately. And I don't have my supply anymore. You did just see some units starting to push down this bit here. I was like, oh god, that is not good. I've got these guys, these Panzergrenadiers, pushing up onto this right side over here just to secure the town as much as I can. And I did bring in two Leopard 1A5s to engage the units over here. Over on this side, Ski did manage to send a bunch of books from land down this flank. I do have a scout heli there and I'm sending out a Leopard 1A1A1 to deal with that. I stupidly let my Panzer Grenadiers here just drive past without load, load, unloading. One gets out, gets the shot off, um, but they're going to go down and die. So that's three units of Panzer Grenadiers I've wasted there. Um, that's definitely, I wasn't paying attention to that, and I should have been. I knew there was units coming here, uh, so that's my bad. Hooks right out of the back get taken out as a scout heli starts pushing over the center here. I can see all these, so I'm aware they're there. Trying to keep track of them. I got two Leopard 105s. One of them was going to be going to the center, but I've redirected it over this way just to help deal with that. Over on this right side, my Leopards do manage to take out Ski's Leopards and clear the little push going here, which is good for me. So I'm going to get these guys repaired up. I think I bring in some logistics at some point, and they're going to start to push forwards back into the gap here and secure that. I can see I got Fuchs Milan in the woods here, ready for anything pushing down the road. Uh, a bunch of infantry in there, so I feel pretty secure there. Um, and then I do have some scout helis coming out. I just want to keep track of what's going on in this area. Fuchs Milan starts to push forwards in the town. Uh, fight has started up again. Ski is pushing some infantry. I know he's going to have like Panzer. Um, Grenadiers, most like FS Jaegers, um, probably like a bunch of pioneers as you can see there. And I just want to try and keep my units spread out so they don't get all blitzed by these satchel charges. Um, and if I do have to engage, let one unit tank a bunch of the shots whilst the others engage from a distance. Like this pioneer flams, they're not taking damage, but they can fire into them with the flame patrons, which is doing a ton of damage to those pioneers. Um, Moving the Sisha rings around to keep their distance and keep engaging with the weapons they've got from a longer range. And I'm building forces up in the center here, ready to push in and try and contest the central zone. In terms of command points, you can see Juliet and Hotel have been captured. I've captured Golf and I'm capturing Charlie. There is this Leopard 1A5 pushing around at this flank here. I did take out a couple of those Fuchs Milans. Um, one, two, three. I think there's one more hanging about. Oh no, I think it's been taken out there. Yeah, so I did take all those all out. Leopard 105s are back here for the time being. I am going to push them up. Try and deal with this Leopard here. Sisharung's making some early engagements against FS Jaeger in the town there. You can see Leopard's starting to push up. Keep this one back. Uh some reason they are both really damaged so I need to get those repaired Alouette's pushing up on this bottom side MW1 coming into the centre going after the FS Jaeger 
does manage to take them out. I do see these Pioneer Flams and Epic Jaeger in the woods here. Pioneer Flams are starting to push across, which is not good for me. I don't have much there to deal with them. And these Sisha Rings are way too close for that to be a favourable engagement. I've spotted this Leopard 1A5 now. I'm bringing up Mighty to deal with it. And another one here. A couple of uh, Lama Lands coming in. These are just going to be securing the flanks. That Sisha Ring gets taken out. But that one can engage from a bit of a distance, which is much better. Leopards engage. I take some bad hits there, so I just pull back, let my rocket jet go in, so I can try and stun it a bit. Didn't really work for me. Um, and I wanted to kind of help stun it and then push my tanks in to take it out, but didn't work, unfortunately. But now I've got these two pushing, um, and they should be able to take it out, okay. Cicerone's just kind of pushing around, getting set up here. I've secured these weak spots. Panzer Grenadiers moving into the woods there. More of these guys pushing down. Tenedu F3 coming in from Ski. Trying to take out the Alpha Jet. Don't mind if he does. It's super cheap. 75 points. Really, I should be trying to punish punish uh, Ski here. With some more AA on my side. I've still only got this Gephardt here. Not much else. This Gephardt's going over to this right-hand side to kind of help support the units here. As you can see, my leopards are moving into the trees here. I've still got no supply to them. Big oversight on my part there. Um, this side on the right, fully secure. I don't feel threatened at all over here. I wanted to secure this, and I feel pretty good about that now. Um, I've got these scout helis and the tanks and the Gephardt. So infantry's going to be pushing into the centre. Obviously, Ski's got control there, and he is getting a plus three. But he hasn't capped this zone yet. I've not capped one, that one up there. Uh, so there's still kind of a lot of games to be played. I am bringing in a Jägerfuhrer for the center. F4F coming in, taking out his scout helis. I want to remove his vision. And then, as we can see, more pioneers here. I've got my flame pioneers. And I'm keeping them at a distance over here, so they can use their um, their hand flam patrons, but Ski can't use his satchel charges, and I want to keep it at a um, more favourable engagement for me, which is a bit of a distance. And so you can use the roads for that, and like kind of keep buildings with a bit longer line of sight. Um, and obviously this supply here very helpful for resupplying them, keeping them at top health, and with more flamethrowers. You see, I do see this Leopard 1A5 here. This Gephardt is in a bit of a, a vulnerable position. Um, I just lost a, uh, a Leopard over here and a second one. Really low health on them. That's my bad. I should have been more careful of that. But I do now know there's Jaeger Actful in these buildings and in those woods there. Got a Gephardt 1A1. Coming in on this side with some Sisherings to secure the woods here. In the centre, you can see I've built up a ton of Sisherings, Panzer Grenadiers. There's a couple of Pioneer with Flams in the Fuchs Milan back here. One of my Leopards there gets taken out by these uh, these AT planes, the F-24G AT, which is unfortunate. I, I reverse it back a bit and kind of sit it there. I did manage to pop the smoke off in time to avoid the uh, the second shot coming in and doing some damage to that one. In the centre, Leopard 1A5 pushes forwards, hits my Gephardt there, doesn't quite kill it. I'm trying to reverse, and it gets out of line of sight, luckily. And at that point, I start pushing with these uh, Fuchs Milan and Pioneers with Flams, trying to do a bit of damage or deter Ski, that Leopard 1A5. It does manage to hit it, do a ton of damage. But he's still pushing forwards. And I've got these guys pushing up here. I want them in this position so they can try and hit flank shots. Or like kind of ambush the tanks if they push forwards. Which does work. Gets taken out. I can see Ski's units in the edge of the woods there. Um, so I've got some Jaeger Akpul pushing from this side. Gephard pushes back up. Again, need to get that push back up to full health. See Ski bring in a... AT plane going after that Jägerfuhrer. I did spot this and just managed to unload it in time. Um, so it didn't get killed. 
and then I start taking control of this zone here. I've taken control of the zone at the top as well. AT plane going after the Gephard misses. It doesn't really take. Oh, it does take a fair bit of damage. I don't know if it makes it out. But it does make it out. In the centre, you see more 185s from Ski, uh, which isn't great. I haven't got much to deal with them now, other than these Fox Milan. Gephard goes down, unfortunately. Ski reverses back out of the way of those, uh, those Fox Milan shots. Take one out. Keeps reversing, gets a shot off, but avoids those HGMs. Panzer Grenadiers engaged by that Gephard, gonna get absolutely wrecked. Alpha Jet is coming in against these uh, 185s. See, it does stun it, and that's what I was hoping to do in the fight over here, but it just didn't quite work out. Gephard's pushed up now. Bunch of Tornado F3s coming in. I'm sending this Jaeger Akpal round the flank here. I know that Ski's got a lot of units in here, and I know head on I don't have the forces to fight it yet. So I'm going to send this round and push into this area here because I know that's the most likely spot that the that his command is going to be. If I can take that out, I can push the point lead a bit further in my favour and regain the lead as I'm still capping Foxtrot here. As you can see. Ski is starting to push across. I've got this Marder here, which is helping out. I start pushing all these units forward. Panzer Grenadier is engaging at range. This is a much more favorable engagement because these guys can't quite get their flamethrowers off yet. Just then they got into range. So I'm like, okay, need something else to deal with. MW1s come in, smashes those pioneers. My units start pushing forwards more. Um, Leopard 185s are still there. I do have another MW1 coming in. Now, with this, I know they don't do any damage to them, but I was hoping that they would they would stun them and like lower their cohesion like that. Um, it didn't stun them, unfortunately, uh, which is what I was really hoping for. Because if I could have stunned them, it puts them out of the fight, and then I could have pushed across aggressively and done much better with this 2A3, which I had brought in. It does take out one. And then takes out the other. So the MW1 did kind of work. It did get shot down. Um, but it's, eh, was it the most effective move? No. I hadn't really done it before. As you can see, Ski did bring in a Tornado. GR1 Seed Plane. Very expensive, but it does take out my Gephard. Um, I was kind of like, eh, whatever. At this point, I'll just bring in more. Um, takes out my Heli as well. Uh, I wasn't really too bothered by that. I had such a strong position. I felt okay. If he's going to spend almost 400 points just on the seed lane, I'm like, whatever. In the bottom here, I, I do see the Sisherings pushing forwards. Not too bad. i got Pioneers with Flames here. They're going to make short work of them. And I do have this Leopard 185 supporting from the edge of the town. I then send my uh, supply vehicle forward to keep those... Um, Pioneers with Flames resupplied in their hand flam patrol because they do fire them really quickly and they are out. As you can see, they're starting to restock. I push these guys forward so they can engage the Sisher Rings as well. I really want overwhelming force in any of the fights which are going to happen. On this side in the center, you can see my Jaeger Aqua was successful in pushing down here. I then pulled them back as they were starting to get engaged and I've just set them up here. So if Ski does come in again, I'll send them back down. You see there's a lot more Sissuring starting to push forwards. MW1 doesn't take out those pioneers of uh, the Hanslands, which is very lucky for me. I'm a bit outnumbered here, um, but I'm sticking in the engagement and I'm starting to um, bring in some more infantry just to help support this fight because I kind of realise Ski's got a lot of stuff here. I'm going to need some help. does bring in a command vehicle there. Um, which has neutralized this zone, but I'm still at a plus five. Again, nothing really going over on this side. I do send a, a Fox Reset here, um, because I'm kind of suspecting at this point there's been no attacks at the front here. And as you can see just over there, I start to spot a heli. 
And so I'm like, yeah, he's. I suspect he was going to try a flank here. So I had this ready and in position, being prepared for it. AT plane going out to my 1A5. Does take it out. Over here, you can see I'm starting to lose quite a lot of units. I've got one mortar there, just providing a bit of fire into the area to help out. Doesn't do too much. So I got uh, two Rolands pushing up and a bunch of uh, Leopards just pushing forwards here. I was kind of suspecting a heavy tank push down this road, and I wanted these Leopards to be able to respond to that and to be able to respond to the center. I don't turn my um, my helis off here. Uh, my AA, sorry, off here. It was on purpose. I felt like I felt confident in them. It's like one might die, but the other would probably hit. So I just kept them on. I was willing to risk it. I've got such an advantage. I don't mind losing some stuff. I felt okay about it. And I think it was worth a risk trying to take it out. As you can see, there is a ton of Sisharungs. Um, I've got some pioneer for flams here, out of hand flam patron, Jaeger Akpul slowly getting torn down. I'm like, damn. At this point, I just need these guys to hold off a bit longer. Let these guys get in here, and then all of these guys from back here, I'm gonna let them get in as well. So if these guys can make it down here into the town, then I'm fine. I'll be totally okay. I can wreck those Sisharungs. Over on this side, you can see Ski started to try and push across, but I've got loads of guys in these woods ready for them. AT plane goes after my Gephard there and does take it out, unfortunately. Obviously a bit too um, in the open there. It does get taken out. So I've pulled these guys back, they're doing okay, um, very low on health, I need more supplies there but I don't, I don't quite have it. I do have this Fuchs Milan from this Pioneer squad here, and these are the ones with demolition charges. Now these Sisharungs can't do anything against these Fuchs Milan. Um, and I believe I start to send them forwards, because I'm like, oh, okay, um, they're not going to be able to do anything against them. I can just push these up and try and take those out. I start to spread out my pioneers a bit, have like kind of an open uh, defense here, so they're a bit spread out. I can cover all the angles. Over here, I do spot some infantry pushing in, some FSA, and I've got an F4F HE bomber to go in, takes those out. Um, and I do spot these FSA get Akpul on this top side. So I start pulling that back. I'm aware they're there. Um, and I bring in some Panzer Grenadiers just to deal with that, and a Gephard to watch for more helis. As you can see, Sissering's still trying to push. Um, I've got overwhelming force now, so he's he's not going to be able to break, break through there. Leopard 1A5 pushing on this right-hand side. Did take out my Leopard. But I have got this Milan 2 here. Misses the first shot. You can see there's two of them. They start firing into the town, so I pull these Fuchs Milan over to fire their ATGMs. One hits, and then this Milan 2 hits it in the side and takes it out. So those Fuchs Milan are dead there. I've got this one still in the front, just providing fire support. These FS Jaeger try pushing up. They take out my uh, Fuchs Milan there. These guys are still fighting on. Leopard 1A1A1s push over. You know, I had them positioned over here to respond to threats. Uh, and they work perfectly there. Pushed on over. Um, they're up to elite now. Um, and they dealt with those 1A5s. I should have pushed my pioneers forwards into these buildings here so they could get their satchel charges off. That would have been a much more efficient way um, to deal with these, these units here. In the center, you can see... Uh, Ski's trying to push across a bunch of um, Shisharungs and Pioneers of Armbrus. I'm going after the Pioneers because um, I just kind of see them as a bit more of a threat with this HE bomber. Does cake. One squad out. Um, I, I don't make it out, unfortunately, so that's cost effective. Not at all. Um, but at this point, doesn't really matter too much. As you can see at the score, I've pretty much 
almost won the game there. Um, and really it came from denying this the edge of the town here and getting a nice push into here. I didn't do too much of the centre at the start, um, but I managed to push in easy enough after the early losses for Ski. Um, yeah, so actually we were pretty even in terms of kills and losses, uh, but I think just, I guess, positioning and control at the start went in my favour. As you see here, yeah, Gagpool doing a great job there. Those guys doing a good job. Luxman Land doing pretty well. The IDS on the right hand side at the start. You see the Pioneer Lands, FS Jaeger, Gephard doing all right. 105 did a good job there. Pioneers with Flams doing well. Leopard 105 got all those kills. Yeah, full again doing well. So that 283 took out the 105s. Pioneers, yeah. So I, I was very cost effective with a lot of my units. Ski was as well, as you can see. Yeah, Yakful doing a good job. 185. Yeah, so we both did a good job in terms of kills and like kind of cost effectiveness. I think it, the exchanges just went in my favor early on, and the position and control I managed to get was, was very helpful for me and kind of dictated the rest of the match. But yeah, so that's game one. Uh, we'll get back in for game two. Alright guys, welcome back to game two. Okay, as you can see, I'm on the left side over here. Uh, I did switch up my deck. I went for the 8th Infantry Division this time. Uh, and Ski stuck with the 2nd Panzer Grenadier Division. So, have a little look at my units. Just do this at half speed. Uh, so, on this side, I have 4 Jaeger Akpul. And I'm pushing aggressively. I want to try and hold this town over here. Um, backing them up, I got... Three units of engineers, those ones with satchel charges and a chaparral. I've got a Bradley pushing down this road to stop any reinforcements here. I've got a Jaeger Akpul and a Bradley pushing into the centre to kind of deny that. I've also got a Scout pushing over to the centre and an OH-58. On the left hand side I've got one Jaeger Akpul just deploying in these buildings here. And then I've got two military police which are going to deploy uh, in the woods here and they're going to push around. So my plan going into this was not to push into Alpha. I want to try and get aggressive in the center and hold Foxtrot on the edge. Uh, and we'll, we'll see how that goes for me. I've got an A10 early on, just circling at the back here, ready for the infantry engagement over at Foxtrot. I push it out this way because I don't want it to get there too early and just have to circle back round and I'll have to wait for it to get into a position to fire here. So then I start to bring it in then. I've got a fire position order here. Uh, so I'm guessing that's where Ski's going to unload. And we'll, uh, we'll go up to full speed now. As you see, I spot Ski pushing here with some units. Uh, but I, I think I was focused here. So I'm not sure if I noticed that. I see him pushing in the center. I let this bomber get the bombs off. I see the transports pulling back. So I'm like, okay, I think I might have gone it. But I think Ski managed to manage to um to pull his units to the side and not take damage there. I've got my Jaeger Akpul in a decent position on the edge of the town here. So I'm feeling alright about that and the engineers are coming. Over here, I start to get engaged by these FS Jaeger here. I have some M60s pushing up uh, to the trees here to kind of help secure this area. Uh, and a couple more Hamachutsen there, coming out to secure it as well. But as you can see, Ski has got a lot of forces circled, like all over this area here, um, all in this bit here. One of my M60 gets taken out. This Jaeger Akpul isn't doing too well in this fight. Um, so this area is not looking good for me. On the bottom side, Managed to get units on the edge of the town here, so I'm feeling alright about that. Engineers pull back, I'm gonna unload them there, and then push them forward to try and take out these pioneers with flams. Because they are wrecking my Jaeger Akpul, unfortunately for me. These Jaeger Akpul pull away from the FSG, I want to try to keep them alive so I can have eyes on in this area. Bomb side, 
I'm losing more and more units to these uh, Pioneers with Flams and the Leopard support there. I push towards the M113A3s to deal with these Pioneers because they can't do anything to them. I'm still taking more and more damage from these Pioneers. DJ Gackle getting blasted by this Leopard. This Bradley is going to engage uh, these three Fox Milan. Um, so these are worth 30 points each. And the Bradley is 90 points. So this is a risky engagement because these Fox Milan can do a lot of damage to it if they hit. So I've taken down two. That AT gem misses. I tried to reverse out of the way. I let it fire once more. I'm holding, waiting for that shot, and it does manage to hit, so I do take those out. These Pioneer with Flams have wrecked my forces here. This Leopard is pushing forwards. I think it's going around to maybe try and engage that Bradley. Over on the top side here, I brought in some Hamachutes in there. I bring in these Stingers, but there's units in here engaging them, so they both get killed off. Um, and this really is not looking good. I've lost complete control of this area. And so I don't really have a way to push into the center other than going up here and then down, which isn't very efficient. One of those from Matt Houston gets taken down by the FS Jaeger. It's, it's really not going well. MW1 comes in. Luckily, it doesn't do too much damage, but it does wipe, basically wipe out that Hamat Schutzen, but it's only one squad. Um, I can see Ski bringing in more Pioneers with Flam and FS Jaeger there. And this Bradley... Getting engaged by Jake Ackball at way too close a range, really not good for me. Uh, it's managing to survive somehow. This Gephardt wrecking these Jaegers. Bradley goes down. Um, it's looking less and less favorable for me on this bottom side. Over on this top side here, I've got Alpha Jets coming in, trying to um, take out some of these FS Jaeger here. Take out the squad there. Do a lot of damage to the squad there, and those guys make it out. So that's good, at least. Um, see this bottom side. Ski's got some more units with um, yeah, some more FS Jaegers. And look at that. I had a ton of units here. They're all dead. They are all gone. MW1 on the top side. Doing even more damage than that shoots than I had in here. I'm, I'm really struggling at this point. I'm kind of um, trying to figure out what to do. Um, I've got an M1 Abrams coming up here just to secure that road again. Uh, I bring in a CV uh, to stop the two-point lead that uh, Ski's getting from Golf there. And I've got some more engineers, and I bring some Cobras. I'm like, maybe the rockets can help me defeat the units in here. Here, Fux Milan open fires. Uh, the M1 Abrams is targeting the Leopard. I managed to somehow dodge that Fox Milan. Ellie gets taken out. Elman Abrams is just dodging shots here. Reversing it back. Reverses out of ATGM range. But the AT plane comes in. Misses as well. Elman Abrams engages again. Takes out the Leopard 1A1A1. Starts getting shot by the Fox Milan. And I misses again. It switches target to the infantry. Annoyingly, the Cobra could have dealt with them. It hit, luckily, it misses again, and then that gets taken out. So, very lucky M1 Abrams there. Um, so, with the Cobra's help, I've got them positioned here just to support the fight. This side, Bradley and, and Jaeger Ackbill still alive. I'm trying to push out here. I really need to secure this road, but it's across the open. I haven't really got that much, that many units. There's tank support. I'm getting absolutely wrecked. Um, so compared to the last game, this is not going well at all. Obri goes down there. I'm like, shit. Um, that's not good. So I start pulling this other one over to this side because I'm like, I'm in serious danger of getting overrun and allowing Ski to just push in and take this zone as well. Um, so I push this one over to kind of help out. Yeah, Gak will get taken out there. Bradley starts engaging. Um, but AT plane comes in. That one misses. That one misses. 
FS Jaeger miss. On it, my RNG in this game was actually not too bad, but I just completely misplayed what I was doing. Um, I managed to reverse out of sight. This Cobra is starting to engage a few units here. Um, but the amount of planes that Ski has, all my units are just always in danger. Like the amount of F-104Gs just flying about, you can see. Come in for a gun run. One does a bit of damage, second one does a ton of damage. That's stunned now. It's they're just really susceptible to it, and I just I don't have an answer. Um and yeah, I was really just trying to figure out what am I gonna do? How am I gonna do this? I've got loads of units coming to this point here. Um I think I invested too much at this point. I should have put a few in. And then start investing in the center, pushing in here, pushing out here. I should have probably attacked down this road. Accepted, like, this isn't looking good for me. Let's push here, let's attack here. Maybe I can get attack there, get behind, and, like, kind of pincer them um, down this road and then here. Just anything. I have managed to sneak those military police from the start all the way around here. I'm just waiting for Ski to put CD in at the back, and I'll go snipe it. Over this side, Pioneers of Flams have pushed forwards, um, and it paired with FS Jaeger. Again, this is poor um, micro for me. I'm not pushing the Engineers forward. They really need to be closer to do the damage with the um, Satchel Chargers. A10 coming forwards. Bombs this area here. Um, and there's nothing there. <laughs> so, not a great shot from me. Uh, we'll you can see these bombers are coming in. Ski manages to micro out of the way of that one. I do hear with that one, but Ski's doing a good job here, avoiding those bombers. As you can see, <laughs> my infantry gets wrecked again. Um, over on this top side, Bradley pushes forwards, gets taken out by a leopard. I've got these M60s here, which weren't engaging for a bit and then they get taken out. This Leopard does get hit by the M60. Uh, one of them gets taken out by this Toe 2. Got an M1 Abrams pushing up here now to kind of attack them. But honestly at this point I'm I'm pretty sure the game's lost. Ski brings in a command to neutralize this zone. Um, he's going to bring a command into the center. I'm kind of really, like I said earlier, just struggling with what to do. Um, I think in my head I've been like, yeah, I've I've lost this game at this point. Um, my position's too bad. I did I did want to fight out because I felt like I've got these guys back here. I can maybe do something there if I can get aggressive enough here and push around this side. I can try and contest the center. Um, maybe I've got a chance if I can do that. I've got a command here pushing for Juliet. So we'll just kind of fast forward a bit. More infantry engagements here. My M1 Abrams sticking around on that side. Alpha Jet's coming in. On this top side here, more of my units getting wrecked. Just getting shredded. We'll watch these uh, military priests in a second. MW1's coming in. Wrecking more of my units there. That whole push I had going basically destroyed. Um, these military police are just going to be looking around trying to find the uh, the command there. I do get Juliet finally, so it's only at a plus five. Still really not good. Um, this Toe 2 on this flank here is actually doing a really good job. It starts sniping off the Gephards and like any tanks pushing down this side. Because of its ex exceptional stealth, it, it remains hidden. Um, and Ski doesn't notice it. They're really handy for doing this, and on this side of the map, like it's really strong. There's a lot of open ground and good lines of sight. You can kind of get aggressive with them and, and fire them off here. And as you can see, this gets line of sight all the way through this cap and takes that Gepard out all the way in the middle there. I'm sure uh, Ski was a bit puzzled about that. Top side, Alpha Jet's coming in. I'm just hitting this tree line. Those units there, but they're pushed back and they don't take any damage. So, <laughs> poor effort by me. 
If you switch to neutral, you can see the amount of forces that the ski has here. Um, I do take out the command over on this side, so and then I run off the military base. So I don't want them to get caught. Um, but you can kind of see the control that Ski has on the map, similar to what I had last game. You can see he's pushing these Sissuring and FS Jaeger up the center there. Um, I've got mech rifles pushing down here, but by themselves, I'm not going to do too much. I I do start to send a ton of these mech rifles to the center here, and I'm gonna. I, the plan was to push them down this way. I've got an M1 Command CV coming in. That's going to be going for the center as well. In my head, I'm like, okay, got. I've neutralized this zone over here. What I can do is get really aggressive. I can hold this line here. I don't need to worry about that. I'll get really aggressive. I'll push for Delta, try and neutralize that. And then we're on an even playing playing field then, and I might have a chance of doing something. Um, it was a long shot. Kind of speed it up a bit. He starts hunting for my CV back here. I've got one mech rifle. He's trying to defend that. But it does get found. These guys managed to unload here. Ski goes and hunts it down. So I'm not sure, quite sure where he's gone there. You'll see, it will go in. Takes it out. That's neutralized. I'm like, well, crap. Uh, these military police are uh, still holding on there. I believe they took out another CV, which was pushed in. Um, so they did a really good job. <laughs> Fair play to them. Um, as you see... <laughs> Let's keep pushing more units on this side here. In the middle, I'm starting to set up my mech rifles all over the place. So I've got ones here. And I'm going to push these guys across and hunt for their command in the center. I send in Cobras to help support this area here because I know he's got some infantry. But one of them gets instantly wiped out. All right, well, that's not great. I keep trying to send that one to support there. I've got a command going for Juliet. I don't know about all of these units yet. Uh, these mech rifles start getting wrecked by these pioneers. Cobra comes in for support. Um, I haven't got long left in terms of points, so I need to get aggressive here. I did see that these were pioneers and Cicerungs. I was like, whatever. I'm just going to move my tank into the zone and neutralize it. Because they can't damage it. Other Cobra goes down. Mech rifles start pushing across here, searching for this CV. A10 comes in. Uh, and it's coming to help support... Um, the units here. So it's going after these pioneers and cicerungs. It does a ton of damage to them. The cicerungs will be dealt with in a moment. And I really need to get this C this tank in there as quickly as possible. Because look at the points there. It's not looking good. You can see Jaeger Fuhrer coming in here. Right into the eye eyes of this FS Jaeger. And that gets taken out. And at that point, I'm like, no, that's that's game over. I can't really come back from there. And I um, I surrender in a moment. I do manage to get this uh, neutralized. So, go me. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's not looking good. As you can see over here, he was super close. You can probably see that command, but he's out of rockets. Um... And there was a bigger disparity in the kills to loss there between me and Ski. Um, but yeah, I <laughs> just really, really misplayed that one from the start. Um, so it wasn't a good good fight from me there. But um, they were interesting games, that's for sure. Um, really good playing against Ski. It's kind of the first tournament I've done or played in. Um, and I haven't really played a lot of ranked. I think I've got one ranked game in in warno so it's kind of a a good kind of experience to go against much more experienced players um and it gives me a lot of um kind of tips and ways to learn <laughs> yeah some of the ski units here absolutely shredding my forces um but yeah good games to ski and I'll, i should be playing more of these these games coming up all right thanks guys i'll um hope you have an analysis of the next one soon